welcome. Hey, please take a seat. I know Friday's filing day and your campaign will be over, but if you're thinking I'm gonna go easy, I can't do that. Now, this is live TV, so no colorful language. Bullshit job offers to my staff. You've plumbed new depths. A giant inflatable rodent, please. You ruined that girl's career. All right, shut up, the both of you. All right, let's go. Hello, America. I'm John O'Neill, and welcome to a special edition of This Week in Washington. Guns, more or less. There were 372 mass shootings last year, 64 school shootings, and there are over 300 million Do you guns. Work in our with country. Connors. I'm joined by two four years. Foul mouth, unexpected, and and very Scott effective. If background checks are to be of any use, they should apply to all gun sales, not just some. Isn't that what Heaton Harris is proposing? Precisely. The bill expands the scope of gun regulation. And it's yet another affront to Americans' constitutional rights. No, the bill closes an absurd loophole, which allows people on terrorist watch lists to buy guns without any checks it's whatsoever. An it's an incursion into individual liberty by an all-powerful government. What, like driver's licenses? Driver's licenses? It's illegal to operate a car without going through rigorous theoretical and practical assessments. That's a clear constraint on the freedom of individuals oh, to drive this. cars. Or pilots to fly Vugushes. planes. You know, in Japan, Chefs train for seven years before they're allowed to serve a poisonous blowfish called fugu. What does yes. any of this have to do Woo! with background <laughs> checks? Is a fair question. Does anyone in this room think that the government should abolish driver's licenses? That's absurd. Why? They're a government incursion into individual liberty. We accept them because they make sense. The more dangerous the machinery, the more rigorous the test should be. I think we can extend our definition of dangerous machinery to semi-automatic firearms. Except the Second Amendment to the Constitution doesn't guarantee the right to drive cars, or operate machinery, or serve blowfish, for that matter. <laughs> it guarantees the right to keep and bear arms. Perhaps you haven't read it lately. Nothing, Nothing in the, the bill that the right to people keep and bear arms. The Second Amendment was signed in a time where the average life expectancy was 38. And it was common practice for our founding fathers to resolve their differences at dawn in a gunfight. What may have been perfectly sensible in those alien times is wholly inadequate to solve the problems That's of the That's not the rebuttal. What is she doing? The United States Constitution has stood the test of time. It's authored to confer unimpeachable rights which don't change. Depending on which way the wind's blowing, it's so authored with the specific intent of keeping at bay the Elizabeth Sloans of this world who want to wipe their asses with the Constitution okay, okay, and okay, replace it with their own judgment because she knows better than the founding fathers of this great nation. Nothing is unimpeachable, not even the Constitution. It's ironic that the very statement of rights you're so quick to invoke is in fact an amendment. I may not like it either, Elizabeth, but it's the Second Amendment. It comes right after freedom of speech, religion, and press, and somewhere before freedom from search and from having to testify against yourself. They're all sort of bunched together. It's called the Bill of Rights. How do you get around that? We don't need to. Supreme Court already made it clear that the right to own a gun is subject to lawful restrictions. One of those is background checks. Universal background checks are an infringement. What part of shall not be infringed don't you get? I get that that's the weakest, most mind-numbing retort in your impoverished arsenal. Sort of a last refuge for those with no real argument at all. You're talking about the United States Constitution. If they could produce a rational, winning argument, I'd gladly migrate to their side. But because it says so in the Constitution, the Bible, or my horoscope, it's not what? a winning argument. It's a ripcord, an intellectual equivalent of a yellow, pant-pissing wimp cowering behind mommy's skirt. Elizabeth Sloan. Let's have it, wake up! You want to lead the fight on gun control. Lobbying is about foresight, but anticipating your opponent's moves. How the hell did she manage that? I want her career. Sin and no tameni. American Shikakata Wana. Megami no Miezarute.